Hi guys, Lexi Arce here from Alf Reagan's video. Now today's video again I'll be doing two in a row. Now the first one's a classic that many, many love. And uh, it's from Dolce & Gabbana, and that is Dolce & Gabbana's Poor Now this came out in 1994 I believe, so it's uh, been around for a good while. Classic 90s scent, very, very popular. Many people have talked about how good it is. And obviously this is the, this is the latest reformulation. It's the, the Made in UK version. So it, uh, it's reviews for the Made in UK version. I can't compare this to the vintage version that's made in Italy because the quality is a lot better on the Italian version. But this one's still pretty good. So I'm going to talk about this one. Now, this is a 75ml bottle. I got this thing, it was £35, something like that. So it wasn't bad. Now, anyway, let's take a, we'll take a wee look at the bottle. As you can see, it's got Dolce & Gabbana engraved in there on, on, on the actual bottle, whereas the vintage has it on a sticker. Uh, the lid as well. It's quite a nice bottle, it's just a very basic but very nice. The box is quite nice, the box is like felt. The box is like felt, so it's very classy, it's got soft fabric on it. The box is really nice, so it's quite a nice bottle. Dodge Gabbana Pro Rome, details there, lid here. So, enough of the bottle, let's look at the sprayer. Now the sprayers, you can still smell off the bottle, that's quite heavy. This, the bottle's really nice, so the sprayer, however, is one of these ones where you like, I'm just checking. I, know, I thought I sprayed something on my wrist, but I haven't, so. Cool. The spear's not too bad, not the best, but can't complain, you know, it's like, I wish it was a wee bit better, but it's now instantly I'm getting that sort of woodiness to it. I get people talk about how it's got a woody, sort of masculine, fresh, green vibe. And this is a made in UK version, so the vintage will probably smell completely different. This is what I'm getting from this version. Woody, green, very masculine, very classy. Could definitely dress this one up. It smells very Italian, very Italian. It has, um, I know this gets compared um, a lot with Versace's The Dreamer. A lot of people have it. So I think The Dreamer's got a different vibe, a more. Uh, it's hard to describe. This one's got a more woody, fresh, grassy sort of vibe. Whereas The Dreamer's just got a, a, a Versace vibe, as so you describe it. They've all got the same sort of things about them, so. This one's really great, I like it, um, that woody earthiness, I'm still getting it. Even in the dry down it still exists, it changes a wee bit, but that earthiness, that masculine woody grassy part stays there. And I like that, it's really, really good. Excellent scent, what I'm getting. Now, um, with this one I'd say, with me I'm going to talk about um, the original. It's known for being an absolute beast, it projects very well and lasts forever. This version, however, isn't the, a beast, to be fair. It has been watered down, to be fair, and a lot of people say it's a shadow of its former self. Now this version I get about, what, 6 to 8 hours longevity, but 2 hours projection, it's projecting for about 2 hours and dies down to a skin scent. Even in those 2 hours, you're not getting full the room projection, you're getting maybe within 6 feet, down to about 3 feet, then down to the skin scent, and that's on a good day. I um, wouldn't really recommend this version as a winter scent, you could pull it off if you're applying more sprays, and uh, this I'd recommend 5 sprays, maybe 6. Maybe. So, just to make it last, it's not the longest lasting one. If you want long lasting, I'd definitely hunt down the vintage, if you can. Really mature. It's not not for kids, not for teenagers, I say, you know, older college, you know, going in young adult sort of stage. Even an older guy could pull this off, it's great, but not for teenagers, it's too complex, too um, formal for that. Now this, hell, you could wear this casually in my opinion. You could also dress this up. I think this is really versatile, I think this is good for work, good for a date, and good for wearing casually. It's not a beast, so even if it was a beast, you could still go easy on it and you, people would like it. Is that fresh, sort of people-pleasing smell? And it really does work with this one. Um, the work thing for work, this is absolutely perfect, because again, it, it projects, so you still get noticed, but it's not in your face, so people aren't going to be going, oh, I hate that, and if they do hate it, well, they've got very bad taste. <laughs> Tell them to stop wearing dupe, you know? But anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, for a date, I think this is classy enough to sort of dress up with. The woodiness, the masculine part of it there, it's really nice. So it's classy enough to dress up with. You can go about, go to McDonald's, you know, jeans and t-shirt casual wear with this. Date, fine, work, fine. I mean, really, really nice, versatile scent. Um, a lot of people don't like the made in UK version. I think this one's pretty good, and it does last if you apply a bit more sprays. Um, also, I've went 10 sprays once with this. And it lasted fairly well on me, but that's just me. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, um, do give it a, a shout out. It's not as good as it used to be. I've, I've still to buy, also want to buy light blue. Now, I'll appear saying she get the women's version, but I'm going to buy the men's. 
um, just because I want to sort of compare it to Old Fresh. Um, so this is the one of my first thoughts on Gabbana, the only one I have at the moment. Um, until they bring out a more intense version, the one with project projection, you know. I, I love Don's and Gabbana, the one, I just wish it lasted. But yeah, this one I think's great. Do pick it up. Um, give it a sniff first, you might not like it, but yeah. Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on light blue as well. But this one, the original one from 1994, is a classic. Uh, really, it's a shame Procter & Gamble have kind of let us ruined it a wee bit ruined it to what it used to be. It's still nice, but you know, we're talking about it. it used to be 10 out of 10, now it's about 7 out of 10. Still good, but not as good as it used to be. But there you go guys, that's Daunting Goodbye a Poor Rome. Nice versatile scent, absolute classic. If you're looking for something a bit different, a bit more mature, but not too mature, I think this is good, you know, middle ground. This is really good middle ground scent. So yeah, do check it out if you can find it. So yeah guys, that's me covering Daunting Goodbye a Poor Rome. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I remember any any questions you have, feel free to leave them in the comments. Remember all my videos in the big playlist. Uh, I remember you can also send me a personal message. The link to the song I use in the intro will be in the description, along with a link to my blog. Um, if anyone wants to know where I bought this, I bought it at Dednums UK. So I got that, and I got the gift set with it. So it was thirty five pounds or something. I played. It was maybe like forty five or something because I don't know. And I, but because it was a gift set, and I got points. So I used my points on it, £15 I got off, so I got for like £35, so I was quite uh, quite chuffed with that. So yeah, not a bad scent at all. I wish, I would love the vintage version. It's still good, I just wish it, the vintage version is a beast, and I'd love that to be beastly, because the sort of scent is like the Dreamer. It, I really wish it was, the Dreamer is really, really strong and beastly, there's hardly, there's always projection longevity is off the scale. Really, really good. And um, you can see the sort of vibe, it has the same sort of vibe to it as the Dreamer. I'm not saying they smell the same, I'm just saying they're from the same sort of family. You can get, if you put the Dreamer on this hand and this and this hand, you can get the sort of different vibes. It really, I mean that's it's starting to dry down now. And I'm getting that sort of Dreamer vibe to it. The sort of freshness, the woodiness is starting to just go away to the background. And the body's starting to come out, really really nice. Really good scent. I love wearing it around the house often as well. So yeah guys, do check it out, Dr. Gamana Poor Room. Anyhow, thank you for watching this video, hope you've enjoyed it, and remember if you like my videos and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys, keep on smelling fly.